guys and welcome to a new video hope you're all doing well this week we're doing something a little bit different and we are doing a hair video as you can see from the title and thumbnail i am going to be doing a honest review and sort of showing you how i use the babyliss like heat styler air styler whatever it's you want to call it obviously heat stylers air stylers whatever you sort of want to put the umbrella term as there are a lot of them on the market at the moment with the key one being the dyson air wrap nothing will ever compare to that i don't think um it's definitely the first sort of of its kind these sort of heat stylers like this one have been around for quite a while but it wasn't until dyson created the air wrap that they sort of like blew up and brands started sort of creating their own versions and doing different attachments and everything like that but that is partly why i want to do this video to show you what this is like how you can use it in comparison to the dyson air wrap i'd like to think i know enough about a dyson air wrap to compare it to this and just give you an honest opinion um but yeah so what i'm going to be doing obviously my hair is wet um it is a little bit dry in some places so i will be spritzing it from water because you have to use this on damp hair there's no point trying to do it with dry hair because it's just as much as it's some of some of the um attachments might work with dry hair it doesn't give the same effect at all so the first attachment I have on here is just a standard blow dryer attachment. So this is so you can use it just as a standard like hair dryer. Um, in my opinion, it doesn't work well necessarily as a hair dryer on my hair because my hair is not the thickest, but it is quite thick. It's very long, and it does take me quite a while to dry it normally with a normal hair dryer. With this, it takes even longer. So that is the first thing I will say. This has half the power than my normal hair dryer so it's a bit of a pain in the ass essentially but the the thing is you have to use it in that sense because you you have to dry your roots because you're not going to be styling it from up here and if you do you're going to be burning your scalp so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be drying my roots and i'll be sectioning my hair just so i can get obviously all the underneath and everything dry um this is the sort of thing i would do anyway if i was drying my hair because it helps you dry your hair quicker but like i said with this you have to get your roots dry and all the underneath dry one thing i will say as well is you can actually just use this to dry it like that's what i've been doing recently i haven't been doing the attachment because this works just as well but for video's purpose i will use the actual attachment <laughs> So that's the first bit done now to me it's just it always seems so long-winded doing this because by the time you've done that first bit and you've dried your roots the rest of your hair is pretty much dried <laughs> and i'm just going to go back and wet it um because it takes so long to dry it with this like the roots because it's not powerful that by the time i'm brushing like through my hair it's naturally drying um because I'm doing it section by section and then like obviously the lighter bits at the end are drying so you can see like this is all dried and my this is all dry it's just odd bit it's so damp it's one thing that drives me mad so the next a lot of attachments you have you have a straightening like normal um, paddle brush you have a barrel and then you have the curling like tong attachment I guess you'd call it also i want to be able to show you all of it um realistically this is probably pointless to show you because my hair is so straight naturally anyway um obviously i probably could have used this instead of brushing So obviously that side I just use this with and that side I haven't and it looks no different. Um, so essentially I could use this instead of brushing and using the dryer but I just find because this gets so hot that's one thing about this tool the heat is ridiculous it's not a lot of power but there's so much heat that it just got really like my scalp is quite sensitive and I'm just sensitive to heat anyway. So what I'm going to move on to next is the barrel brush this is probably one of the attachments I do use the most. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to re like spray my hair with some water just so I can actually. Okay, not gonna lie, I did have a little bit of a dilemma because my spray bottle broke, so I had to sort of splash water in my hair. Um, so it's not kind of done the job, but it's kind of wet. So I'm hoping this works. 
So what I want to do is show you the barrel attachment. So this is that. So it's quite a big barrel when you actually look at it. It's quite like thick. But it's kind of to make sure you can get that blow dry effect. The one where you go to the hairdressers and ask for a blow dry and you come out with all voluminous curls and it looks lovely. But obviously they would use a normal barrel brush with a hairdryer. This is just to save you from using a brush at the same time. And this is probably the one I use the most because it gives just my hair a bit of volume without anything over the top and without that much effort. So I will show you how I do this and what it looks like. That is that finished. I just think like it's nothing, it's not as in your face as an actual blow dry would be, but for something that's just very quick at home, and my hair is still actually was actually quite dry. Um, it just gives it a little bit more volume and look makes it look like you've made a little bit of effort with your hair, if that makes sense. Um, I just like doing it. I pref I think that's my favourite type of thing to do. What I would normally do is put a bit of hairspray in, but what I'm going to do now is show you this attachment on this side of my hair, which is why I didn't do both sides. For this, I'm going to have to put the glove on because this gets hot. So with both this one and the barrel brush, it's obviously got this copper, like metal. It gets very, very hot and I will warn you, the heat on this is ridiculous um, in the same sense as a normal styler. So yeah, so I'm going to show you how I use this attachment now. is it finished obviously just my fingers running through it if i was to brush it and that is what it's like brushed which is nice but to me that looks more like a blow dry finish than this um this now just looks just like i've got flicky ends um it does drop out quite quickly if you haven't hairsprayed i like how this looks i think it does look nice it looks very like just like you've just done a little bit of a blow dry but to me that is a lot of effort for that. What I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna have to rework this and I'm gonna do the same just so it matches because I prefer this. So there we have it, that is both sides done with the same attachment and this is what I like. Obviously this has dropped out a lot, this first side, because I haven't hairsprayed it and also where I've done it where my hair's quite dried, it's not gonna last as long. It's not like when you do it with a normal curling tong you do it on your dry hair because the heat is starting with it. This is a mixture of heat with the obviously metal and then also the hot air. Essentially you're never going to get the same effect as you would with a curling tong or anything with this because you're doing it with air not necessarily just heat and you're not doing it unless you're going to do it with really wet hair and you're going to stay there for quite a while it's not going to curl as vividly. I can't lie, I do like the look of this because it's just looks like I've had a bit of a blow dry, it looks like I've made a bit of effort but nothing crazy like when I curl my hair normally it, obviously it's very obvious that I've curled it but this is just a bit more natural and just a bit prettier. So there we have it, I have showed you every single attachment and I have showed you how I use them and the outcome of each attachment. So I'm just going to talk a bit about the tool itself and my personal thoughts. I've obviously had this like I said for nearly a couple of years now and I don't use it that much. The whole reason I wanted it was because I am so lazy when it comes to my hair. I don't really do hair. And 
I kind of realised like I need to, to do my hair regularly because it helps me look nicer and it just makes it look more of an effort other than just a full face of makeup and because my hair is so naturally straight and just flat it's nice for me to just do something like this that just gives it a bit more of a life basically and my biggest thing is it's just not powerful enough and it gets so hot it does have um also i keep talking about it getting hot i don't know what temperature this gets to but it's ridiculous like i said it's obviously air and then it heats up this um, metal attachment which is obviously only on this and the barrel brush but that's why you have to have a glove because this gets so hot and not only that when you're holding your hair it's really hot on your hands now i'm quite sensitive to heat i'm a wimp when it comes to anything hot i can't deal with it it just burns me so easily so i i do have to rely on the glove and probably more than a lot of other people could i don't know but either way you can't touch this and you can't touch any of this section either because it just overheat like it's so, even now that's very hot so this does have a cold setting but it's bullshit it's not cold at all it's the exact same heat as the rest of it I have a cold setting on my hair dryer and that is cold, like it's lovely and refreshing and is exactly what you want to sort of either cool yourself down or just to help you set styles to use that cold feature. This doesn't have a, that cold feature, the little snowflake that's on there, I'm sorry, it's just basically exactly the same as the maximum feature. I think personally this would benefit from having a power feature, so rather than just the heat functions it should also have like an actual it should be higher powered and then you should have that option so you're able to use the hairdryer function like normal and then when you want to use the styling functions you would then put it down to a different fun i don't know i just think it should have more options to just be more powerful because if this was all more powerful i would like it more overall the product is very light it's very easy to use all the attachments are really easy to get on and off they don't feel loose or anything um so they, they do stay in place the whole thing is just very nice i like the fact that obviously it's so small that you can then just essentially that is quite a small item it has quite a nice long wire all of that side of things is lovely i like the fact it's actually got a little bit of glitter in i don't know if you can pick that up on camera but yeah it's got a little sparkle and it's got the rose gold so very like aesthetically looks lovely and babyliss is a hair brand like that is very trustworthy i've used their hair dryers in the past i use their straighteners love them so i can't complain about that it's just i think it just could be better but then in a sense that it like 60 pound isn't really that high like isn't it's really cheap for what that is bear in mind you get four attachments so you have four options of what you can be doing with it that is quite cheap if you compare that to like the prices of hair straighteners and tongs and hair dryers it's definitely affordable like i said there's definitely offers on like when i googled it a minute ago amazon have it for half price obviously if you're going to compare it to dyson air wrap completely different product in my opinion from what i've seen the air wrap is definitely more for the curls and more for a long lasting curled effect without having to use heat and tongs but this is more like a blow just a just a quick blow dry bit of oomph like i said it will vary on how wet your hair is how thick your hair is how long your hair is how long you hold it there the size pieces you obviously do depends on the, the size curls the, you can play around with it and get a bit of difference but this is the general just quick Thing that sort of and it, this is tends to be how it looks every time for me so obviously when you curl your hair you can clip it and you can do all sorts to help those curls last longer um i do recommend that if i had more of these clips i probably would do that each curl i would clip in place but i just don't i only have like three of these so there's no point just because there's little things you can do that will help it last longer essentially though overall i like this i'm glad i've got the hang of it now because when i first used it i didn't like it at all but I like it i think it's really affordable and it's a really good way to be able to style your hair quicker and without having to use different things and essentially you're saving that amount of heat it's like i said it is hot but you're still saving your hair from the heat of a heat styler right so i'll be ending this video here i hope you have liked it i hope it has given you a bit more of an insight into this obviously air styler and into probably air stylers in general if you don't know much about them i will link the product below and give you a bit of product specifications in it as i haven't said anything actually technical about it but if you want to know more click that box below don't forget to hit that subscribe button i really appreciate it i would love to hit 100 sub subscribers i'm like getting a little bit closer every day and i really appreciate anyone that does subscribe but yeah so i will see you next week with a new video